After nearly 600 days, fans were once again welcomed inside the Blue Cross Arena at the War Memorial to watch the Amherst play. The team taking on the Syracuse Crunch in the home opener. Alex Love was there and joins us now in studio. Alex must have been a huge night for a lot of people there. Most definitely, Adam. All home openers are in sports are special, but this one felt more exciting for everyone since the last time the Amherst played in front of their fan base was March of 2020, and it was and, and it, it, they were able to be done with minimal health concerns. Go Amherst! Before puck drop, people from all around the Rochester and Finger Lakes area packed Blue Cross Arena, bursting with energy to enjoy live music and pre-game activities, reminding them how special the tradition of this program is for Rochester. It's crazy. We missed hockey. We watch what we can on TV, but I mean, that's not the same thing as live action. It's great. I've been a season ticket holder for 30 years or more and missed them. The Amherst had no trouble welcoming as many people as they could because all fans 12 and older had to show proof of having at least one dose of a COVID vaccine to avoid an outbreak linked to the game. This feels really closer to normal than I felt in a really long time, yeah. so it feels good. It just feels a little bit more safer when everyone's vaccinated and yeah. the kids are wearing masks, which is good too. Mandatory masking also applied for kids under 12, but they believed it was worth it to be able to come out and watch their favorite AHL team take the ice again. Definitely. At least we can still come to the game to wear a mask. Fans we spoke with felt the process getting through line while showing this information was smooth and easy, all helping folks inch back to where we were. For myself, I also play hockey, so it just feels like good to see actually someone else got, because my season got canceled this year. Beginning November 3rd, all fans eligible will need to show proof they're fully vaccinated in order to get into games, while kids under 12 will continue to have to wear masks with no exemptions offered. Adam?